Good day. My name is Ihoma Emeroa, a child rights advocate and abuse, the founder of Emechihu Favor Discovery Foundation. I am your child's counselor. You're all welcome to Sex Education Virtual Conference. Yeah, our topic is how to communicate sex education to children. The broken down topics we have for day one is age appropriate sex education, positioning your child for safety, dealing with abused child, managing disorders. This is what I want you to know. Sex education should go viral. It is your responsibility as a parent, teacher, caregiver, adult to communicate sex with the child under your care. If you don't, you will be held responsible if the child is abused. Now, listen to this story. Anita has been living with the Gideons for the past three years. She came to work as a maid when she was just 11. A few months after coming into the family house, her ogre, as she fondly called Gideons, began to tease and molest her. Being a naive child, she thought that it was one of those gestures from adults. Little did she know that her innocence was being taken away from her. It began as a case of abuse when he would buy her chocolates and persuade her into allowing him to have his way with her. This continued until she became used to the emotional distress that faced her each time Madame was out of the house. It was freedom at last for her that fateful morning when Anne. Gideon's wife came back home unexpectedly. But why would he want to abuse a child as Anita? She said, because she caught them red handedly. Now, let's discuss. The reason I selected the story, amongst others, is to remind us that charity begins at home. We should be conscious of the home first. Start talking to your child about sex from home. And at the point that child starts reasoning. Once your child can communicate one emotional or physical need, sex education starts then. It could be before the age of two or three. It depends on how fast that child develops. Now, the first topic we're going to be talking about today is age appropriate sex education what is the age appropriate sex education what is sex education let's define sex education first before we can now talk about the appropriate age for sex education now sex education is a teaching process designed to inform children teenagers and youths about their sexuality emotions and physical health that means when communicating sex with a child, let the child know about the body development, feelings, and how to relate with the opposite sex. Sex education does not encourage children and youth to have sex. Sex education can be broken down into three categories, abstinence, health and safety, and comprehensive sex education, which addresses both safety and emotional consent. What is appropriate age to communicate sex to your child? From research, children that receive good sex education are more likely to get married as virgins. There's no specific age to start talking about sex because most children are faster in development. Therefore, parents are advised to start talking about sex while the child starts reasoning or communicating emotionally and physically. Such as, Mommy, 
I want to eat. Daddy, I want to follow you. Okay, now why you should communicate sex early with your child? I've seen a situation whereby people say, ah, my child is too young to start talking about sex. No, not this 21st century. The earlier you start talking about sex, the better for you. When a child is involved about sex early and its implications, it gives the child a lot. The child becomes knowledgeable, the child becomes intentional, the child becomes protective. The child reports every unruly attitude he sees around him. As a dad, you can talk to your children about sex when you are playing or hanging out with them. Communicating sex education is not meant for only the mother. The dad has his own role to play as well. Now, that is the end of the first topic. This is the activity we have and everyone is expected to submit this activity at the end of the class. What is sex education? What is the appropriate age to communicate sex with children? Why should you communicate sex early with children? List out the names of children you have in your environment and communicate sex with them with the permission of their parents or guidance. Now. Our second topic is positioning your child for safety. How do you position your child for safety? As parents and caregivers of children, there are a number of key steps we can take to build resilience and protect our children from sexual assault and exploitation. With one in five children experiencing some form of sexual harm before their 18th birthday. The good news is that, for the most part, child sexual assault and expectation is preventable. <laughs> I'm so excited. By educating and empowering yourself, your children and caregivers, we can minimize the risk of harm and make a country the safest place in the world to raise a child. Ways you can position your child for safety is by following the six principles of personal safety. There are six basic principles. Now, number one is differentiating yes and no feelings. Two, recognizing the bodies warning signs three body ownership let them know that their body belongs to them and they should always protect it number four helping children identify language and feelings associated with secrets five reinforcing that there is no secret that they cannot tell someone keep reminding them every day tell them they should always open up that as long as this life is concerned, nothing is hidden under the planet Earth. Keep telling them. Number six, let them know what to do if they feel unsafe or unsure. Now, ways to position your child for safety. It's never too early to sow the seeds of personal safety. As parents, we need to teach our children five basic principles which form the basis of our personal safety education program for young children. They are to trust their feelings and to distinguish between yes or no feelings. They should know when they are feeling secured and when they are feeling unsecured. Two, to say no to adults if they feel unsafe and unsure. They should or that they should own their own bodies. Their bodies belong to them. Let them know. It's not meant for anyone. They are meant to take care of their bodies. 
that nothing is so yucky that they can't tell someone about it. They should always open up, let them know. That if they feel unsafe or unsure, they should run and tell someone they trust. And that is why you should let them have people in their circle, people they can, they can trust. So that whenever they are in danger, or whenever something is strange, they should always report to those people in their circle. Let them know at least five trustworthy people in their circle. 